Hi guys, Josh Monday here for Cole Clark Guitars. Cole Clark Guitars started in 2001 in Melbourne, Australia with the aim of making a neck through steel string acoustic guitar with the world's most natural sounding pickup. The traditional method of making acoustic guitars is to make a sound box, make a neck block here and then attach the neck to that block and sound box. Cole Clark guitars are made very differently in the style that the Spanish have been making guitars for over 300 years, which is called the Spanish heel or through neck. And that style of guitar uses the neck as the central resonant point. The byproduct of that type of construction is that you get a very clear sound, less compression, excellent note separation, no tonal differences or dead spots across the fretboard, and also less volume drop as you move towards the body of the guitar. Another byproduct of this construction technique is that the truss rod works all the way to the sound hole, not just to the 12th or 14th fret. Another major difference of Cole Clark Guitars construction is the internally carved top. The challenge of any acoustic guitar maker is to make the top as thin and resonant as possible without compromising the structural integrity of the wood. Cole Clark achieved this by leaving the top thick around the sound hole and bridge, but carving it very thin around the rear bout to get that resonance. Cole Clark guitars have the world's most natural sounding pickup. Now that's a big statement. But the reason why we can make it is because it's a proprietary three-way pickup system. Beginning with a six-way piezo under the bridge, a face sensor under the top, and also a microphone built into the preamp. So let's go through each individual part and see how that sounds. Firstly, we start with a great sounding piezo. The piezo's in the bridge here, six individual piezo pickups underneath the bridge. It's a very familiar sound that we're all used to. Let's have a listen to that in isolation first. Importantly, the guitar's not being mic'd up, this is all direct. So that's the sound of the piezo. It's a very characteristic sound of piezo, and it does reproduce bottom end quite well, but in the mid-range and top end, it gets a little bit artificial. So for the mid-range, we've got the face sensor that's just underneath the top here. So we can bring that in, and that comes in at 350 hertz and crosses over and cancels out the piezo if we bring it right in. So let's have a listen to that. Okay, so that's the sound of the face sensor brought in at 350 hertz. Now we want to get that top end really natural as well. And for that, we've got a microphone that comes in at 2.5K, way above the feedback zones of sort of 400 or 300 hertz that you get in a live situation on an acoustic guitar with a microphone. So we'll take it back to just the piezo. And so you can hear the top end of that piezo, that, that electronic sort of ping to it. Then as I bring the microphone in, you'll hear that that disappears and gives way to a more natural air from the guitar. So firstly the piezo, now with the microphone brought right in, so you can hear that it's a more natural top end now, it's not quite that high brilliance that's coming from the piezo. So now let's listen to all three elements, bridge, face sensor and microphone all mixed in together. What we're trying to accomplish here is a natural sounding pickup, a pickup that's reflective of how this guitar actually sounds. So let's have a listen to that. Cole Clark guitars use a great array of tone woods, everything from woods used in American and European guitars to sustainable Australian native timbers, and also some Australian grown timbers whose origin is from the Northern Hemisphere. Cole Clark guitars have a wide variety of woods used for the tops, everything from soft woods to hard woods. So with a soft wood, you get more movement on the top, a more complex harmonic structure, but more compression and less dynamic range. Conversely, with a hard top, you get less movement. So you get less overtones, you get much more dynamic range and less compression. Harder tops will give you a better amplified sound unless you're a particularly soft player. They're also great for that percussive style of guitar playing, which Cole Clarks are very popular with. Also, the face sensor goes very well with that style of guitar playing. Here's an example of a really soft wood. This is Western Red Cedar, so it'll react really well to a really light picking style uh, and it'll compress quite a bit and give us a nice soft tone. So let's have a listen.
Now let's move on to a medium softwood. This is Californian redwood and it's a magnificent sounding and looking wood for tops. While it's highly protected in its native of USA, some was planted in Victoria and Australia around 150 years ago. Uh, that's been coming down recently and Cole Clark has had access to it to make some guitars out of it. This is a great sounding timber for a softer picking style and it's very reminiscent of that traditional American steel string acoustic sound. So let's have a listen. So now we're getting into the more medium range as far as hardness of topwoods go. This is Sitka spruce and the characteristics of Sitka spruce, because it's a denser wood now, we're getting a larger dynamic range and some nice overtones. This spruce is Alaskan and although it's not endangered, it has to be over 250 years old to be music grade. So let's have a listen to it. Now we get to the hardwoods on top. The next wood, if you had to ask what was the signature Cole Clark sound, it would be bunya, Queensland bunya, which is this wood here. This is the sound that you hear when you're listening to Xavier Rudd, Jack Johnson, Snow Patrol, those artists that use Cole Clark. It represents 70% of Cole Clark sales every year, this top wood. It's a very unique sound. Uh, it has a very clear bottom end, almost like a piano-like bottom end to it. It's a very dense wood, so it gives you a small amount of compression and it likes being played hard. So let's have a listen to that. Now we move on to the hardest wood for tops of Cole Clark guitars. This is blackwood. It's sourced from Tasmania and Victoria in Australia. It's a very close cousin to Hawaiian koa. It's the densest wood, so it's got great dynamic range and a great tone. Uh, many players say that this is the best sound amplified because it's such a dense wood. So let's have a listen. The next on Cole Clark guitars are all made from Queensland Maple. On the 1 and 2 series, it's Queensland Maple, and on the Premium 3 series, it's Queensland Maple Silkwood. As far as fretboard woods go, the two most common woods are Rosewood and Ebony used on Cole Clark guitars. Rosewood tends to be a larger sound. Ebony takes away a little bit more bottom end and gives you a bit more top end and sometimes slightly scoops the mid-range. So depending on what top wood and back wood you use would depend on what style of wood you use there. Rosewood is now an endangered wood. So Cole Clark have taken the initiative to find a sustainable local wood to use as a replacement. And this is called black bean. It's slightly lighter in shade than rosewood but has similar acoustic properties. Cole Clark guitars come in a 1, 2 and a 3 series, all with solid wood with different grade of timbers and inlays and slightly different specs on the pickup. So let's go through those. Cole Clark guitars come in two main body shapes, the Fat Lady or Dreadnought shape and the Angel or Grand Auditorium shape. 1 series guitars have solid A grade timbers, dot inlays, no binding and a two way pickup with piezo and face sensor. The Fat Lady and Angel come with bunya tops and Queensland maple or blackwood back and sides. Except for the rosewood fingerboard, all timbers on these guitars are sustainable Australian timbers. Two series guitars have solid AA grade timbers, mother of pearl snowflake inlays, binding, headstock fascia and the three-way pickup. The two series standard custom guitars are the same but with added abalone snowflake inlays, gold machine heads and in some cases more elaborate rosettes with some of the more expensive timbers. Across the 2 Series and 2 Series standard custom guitars, you can choose from Redwood, Western Red Cedar, Spruce, Bunya and Blackwood tops. You can also choose from Indian Rosewood, Australian Blackwood, 
African mahogany and Queensland maple back and sides. All timbers used on these guitars are sustainable Australian or Australian grown timbers except rosewood, spruce and ebony. 3 Series guitars have highly elaborate abalone inlays, AAA grade woods with the same wood choices as the 2 Series but with Queensland maple silkwood and hue and pine added, along with ebony fingerboards. Most guitars come with either Indian rosewood or ebony fingerboards. There's now the option of sustainable black bean fingerboards as well, coupled with blackwood bridge. The finish on the guitars is mostly 5 coats of very thin satin nitro. We also do a nitro gloss option on the top selling models.